The lower the insulin level gets, the more and more impossible it becomes for the fat tissue to grow. And we see this in mm. type 1 diabetes. A type 1 diabetic can eat 10,000 calories a day. And if they deliberately underdose their insulin, they will be as skinny as they want. So in order for fat cell to grow, and this is sort of my conciliatory diplomatic way of accommodating these various perspectives. Some will say fat only grows through calories. It's the only thing that matters. My counter to that is no, there must be some hormone signal namely insulin, that tells the fat what to do with those calories, with that energy. In order for a fat cell to grow and fat mass to go up at all, you have to have two parts to this. One, you must have elevated insulin. The elevated insulin is what tells the fat cell that it's time to eat and store. The cell is not inherently rational. It doesn't know what to do with the energy. Insulin tells the fat cell it's time to grow. Now, having received that signal, the fat cell must have something to grow with, and thus the calories become relevant. But in the absence of even one of those, it becomes impossible. If a person has no insulin but high calories, it doesn't matter. That's the untreated type 1 diabetic that I talked about earlier. It's impossible to gain fat. In contrast, if a person had high insulin but insufficient calories, they would die from mm -hmm. profound hypoglycemia and no ketones and the brain would starve and they would go unconscious or die. So you cannot have one without the other. It doesn't work. If they're both elevated, the fat cells are going to grow very, very quickly.